In our last example of synthetic division, we're going to move even faster through this process. Our value that we're going to divide in by will be 2. And then in terms of our coefficients, that leading coefficient is 1. And then we'll need to drop in some placeholder terms. So we'll need one for x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x, and then that will bring us to negative 32, that constant term at the end. So we did essentially what we did in the previous example, dropped in those placeholder zeros, but without rewriting the original polynomial. We'll drop down that first coefficient and then begin that multiplication and addition process. And in this case, we end up in that bottom right corner with a remainder of 0, meaning that when we take x to the fifth minus 32 divided by x minus 2, we come up with the polynomial x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 16. And while we don't need to write it, we can be a little bit more explicit. In this example, just to say that we have specifically a remainder of zero. When we get to later topics in this course, it's a case like example seven that we're going to be most interested in, a case where we end up with a remainder equal to zero, because that means we've found a polynomial function that divides evenly into this starting function. So we divide those two, we get a resulting polynomial function with no remainder. The question that ultimately we're going to look at asking is, how do we find some quantity x minus a such that a polynomial function f of x divided by x minus a has a remainder that's exactly equal to zero. And this process for synthetic division or polynomial long division are tools that we can use in order to verify once we think we've found such a quantity x minus a. We can use those tools to verify that that remainder is in fact zero and we have a function that divides evenly into that original expression giving us a result with a remainder of zero. But again, that's an idea that we're going to visit um, as we move through some additional topics throughout the semester.